I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're gonna look at our 2023 388 FK Columbus fifth wheel. This is a six slide front kitchen model, rear bedroom and bath. Uh, there are elevated, so we have great outside storage as well. And we're gonna take a look at this and try to point out some of the features uh, of things that have changed in this new year model. So I'm gonna zoom out for better viewing. Again, 388 FK, that's our model. And then we're gonna go in and we'll start at the front. Um, that's to our right with our kitchen and living room. So upon entering, we've got our living room here and then our kitchen up front. Two slides in basically each room. So I've got two in my kitchen up there, two here in my living room and two in my bedroom at the back. So coming here to the top, posing slides, one to the right, one to the left. Starting with the left, we do have, you can see a bar here with two chairs uh, looking at our TV. We've got a, a slide here with the sink lots of storage below it um it's got a spray pull out sprayer faucet big sink here as you can see uh outlets on both sides those little hideable ones uh, then more storage above of course one of the things about the front kitchen everybody likes is the unbelievable amount of countertop space um basically all three sides have it here at the front you can see on both sides of the fridge you've got little hutch areas um, with outlets for things like a coffee pot a instant pot whatever pressure cooker whatever you want you've got space for that Again, storage on both sides as well. It's mirrored, you can see that. And then a huge double door fridge here. Absolutely massive. We have our refrigerator on the right, our freezer on the left, ice maker built in here, as you can see. Um, awesome size refrigerator, um, ice and water in the door as well. In the center, a uh, max air fan for ventilation. And over here to the right is our other slide. So we got our cooking appliance here with our stove and oven and then our microwave above again more countertop space those double outlets again as well more storage um, even this which i think is neat just looks like a bigger oven but it's a drill drawer i know it's a small trivial thing but i think it looks cool and then again a microwave above that so lots of floor space of course with the opposing slides uh, and then being wide body as well our, our kitchen seating area here is discussed uh, two chairs there with the bar looking right at the tv Going down, a little rail system here, looks neat. Two opposing slides here, so we're on our third and fourth slides. One slide there with a trifold sofa, another slide here with a trifold sofa. One of the things Columbus does a great job with is the amount of windows and the size of the windows. These are all frameless crank out windows. Um, there's just windows everywhere, I love it. I have all of these day shades pulled just for one, to show you what it looks like, and two, just to kind of help keep it cool. I'm just running one air on a 30 amp here just to keep it from being 120 in these with the air off. So. Um, but I just want to show you that. And then theater seats here as well, right across from the TV. So plenty of seating. I mean, you've got basically seating for eight right here with, with the bar stools and then three um, double seaters here. So great amount of seating in this unit. Um, more storage above that, reading lights as well. Notice no carpet, vinyl woven flooring in both these slides. Fireplace, nice little mantle look above that. Good size TV there on that wall. And then one more thing to point out, we got three airs on this. So you can see that's your air filters for those of y'all that don't, that's your return right there. Uh, another one right here and then one in the bedroom. So three airs on this, all three quiet cools. Um, again, I'm just running one just as you can see, keeping it just around 80, 81, just so it's not terribly hot. In Kentucky in August, it's hot and humid. So and that's what I've got going on there. By the way, that controls all three airs, all three are on that thermostat. Here's your control panel. I love this. Um, if you looked at videos of Columbus's, um, you've probably seen in the 22, some of the early 23s as well, where we had a touch screen. I personally, as a guy who does service too, love having this instead. Um, easier to troubleshoot, easier to work with. I like analog switches just because I can take a multi-tester and test it. So I know some of y'all that are techie, you're gonna say I'm wrong, but hey, we can agree to disagree. So anyway, light switches here, monitor panel, um, switches for the water heater, for the tank heaters, for the water pump, slide and awning switches, all right here. You probably saw there's a little motion sensor in it, so it goes off and comes back on when you get near it. Uh, and then there is solar on this as well. Um, we'll, we'll look at that in a, in a minute when we go back outside. All right, going up to the top, here's our step up. Again, um, an immense amount of storage that we'll see in just a second. That's why I have a step up here. Now the window, of course, it's what Columbus does. So we have a bath that's a walkthrough. You can either go to the left to your bedroom, you can go to your right to your bathroom and walk through that to uh, the bedroom. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom first. All right, here's our fifth slide. It, it actually extends, you'll see in a second, into the bedroom as well. I love the lights on the wall here. 
Um, that's just a huge deep counter there. Double sinks, double mirrors, um, lots of counter space there. More storage below as well. To the right, nice shower. We've got a seat built into it, low lip. I always point that out. Um, even if you're not physically you know, challenged, uh, nobody likes to have a massive lip to step up into. Some of them do. So I like that. It looks neat and clean. Uh, a tile look surround, skylight in it as well. Other the backs there, fan in here. Of course, a foot flush toilet uh, with porcelain. And then just more storage here. You know, just trying to take advantage of space as best they can. Sliding door to close off our bedroom. You can see this slide extends. So that wall to here is this big slide. So um, king bed, again, more windows. Um, there's both both sides technically have a nightstand. That one's just up there above the window, but still it's somewhere to set stuff if you want. And that one's got a little more storage built in to the right, right there, um, as well as the one up tall, up, up, up top, excuse me. Sixth slide here at the foot of the bed. We've got another fireplace, more storage. That TV goes down in there if you want it. I just wanted y'all to see it. I knew if I didn't bring it up, I might forget it. So no TV. Uh, again, there's a third air. Uh, we we're talking about three airs on this. Excellent storage at the back. So to the left, if you want to put a washer dryer in it, you can. If not, great. You've got more storage space. And then triple sliding doors here to the right. There's a motion sensor light in here if it'll come on. Probably, oh, it did. Okay, I didn't know if me being too far to the left would work, but you know, great storage there. Hanging storage you know, all the way down there. You can have whatever little things for shoes and stuff at the bottom. There's more storage above, so great, great storage. A reasonable amount of space next to the bed. Some of these, if y'all look at fifth wheels, y'all know it can get tight, but that's you know reasonable. Tons at the foot. There's one of the things I wanted to point out. Um, great height um, on these on these newer uh, body style Columbuses. If you look at some of the older Columbuses, uh, even in 23 actually, they, they did not have this same height throughout. Um, you probably, if you look at the pictures of this, with this pause a bit at the front, you'll be able to tell by looking at the cap. It's a little different cap design. Also notice the space here, obviously easy to get in that side of the bed. But I wanted to point that out, lots of ceiling height. Um, if you're a tall person, you'll appreciate that. Or if you just like a more residential feel, you'll appreciate that. So great, great amount of space in here. All right, I think that covers the inside pretty well. Let's go outside, take a look at some stuff there. Always want to show this, you can pause it. Columbus does a really good job summarizing things. I am human and I can forget. Plus I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. So a screenshot, door there to close the screen if you want it to. I didn't close the door hard enough as you can tell. A cool head step, entry steps here uh, with strut assist, grab handle. I like how the awning and the grab handle, they're both white. Uh, just kind of blends in. It gives it a clean look. Uh, G-rated tires, 7,000 pound axles on this with more ride suspension. Frameless windows on the outside windows. Obviously, the slide-in windows are a are standard window, but frameless windows out here, really dark tint. A tire pressure monitoring system by TST on this. Six-point hydraulic leveling as well. Something new here, um, all Asdell. So we got, you see right there, Asdell siding um, instead of Luan as our, as our uh, backer there. So composite siding, excellent, excellent storage. I I'm, can't open all these at once, but this thing has got the storage. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six compartment doors to access this. It is huge. So really, really awesome amount of storage. There's a battery disconnect. Another TV hook up here if you wanted to have a TV out here as well. I'll open these up. I just think it's cool to see them all. So you can see your pass through here power cord reel over there in the corner there's a door on the back as well it's just an unbelievable amount of storage space and if that's not enough you got a receiver hitch on the back for a storage rack. so you got that as well ladder on the back one of the things i love about columbus construction it's all bonded except the floor we don't want a bonded floor um bonded rear wall bonded slide in walls just a better way to construct it versus free hung fiberglass. There's that power cord reel I was talking about. So, incredible amount of storage. Here's your docking center, inline water filter also. Uh, you've got your Nautilus system, which if you've ever winterized your own unit and you don't have this, you know how hard it can be to get to the water pump, water fill, uh, water heater. This is simple. Turn some valves, get your antifreeze inlet. Simple as that. So again, from a service side, I love that. That's where your hoses and cords come up through. Obviously, several different tanks on this. Um, you're going to have 
termination point back here for some of the tanks and then one up front as well with, with this many uh, tanks on it. 50 amp service, obviously with three airs. There's a better picture of that CRE 3000 suspension. 12 gallon uh, dual gas and electric water heater. There's your furnace output. There's your other termination point there. Again, frameless windows, which I think are really, really good looking on this unit. More storage up here. A couple things to point out. Um, inverter on this already. We got a, a transfer switch. If you if you wanted to add a generator, it's already prepped for that. And then there's your auto level controls right here. And then again, more storage. As if the as if the rear wasn't enough. You've got that. LP bottles. Um, you've got two thirties. One here. One on the other side. And the front. I think I unlocked this. Yeah, I did. Hard to remember with this many doors. Just more storage here. And then your battery and your hydraulic pump over there. So close that back. Pin box is a Moride pin box. Um, through the ride prevents chucking. It'll be like that. And then there you can see the front cap. Just kind of the size difference there to show, illustrate that ceiling height throughout. So 2023 388 FK front kitchen Columbus. A six slide front kitchen model, raised rear area, tons and tons of storage. The link in the description takes you to our website. There'll be pictures there, um, the options, price, our contact info. You can call, text, or email us, whatever's simplest for you. Um, our family really appreciates you watching our YouTube channel. Again, I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Campers. Have a great day.